Guys, we just had a huge, very unexpected development in the world of iOS emulation and specifically enabling JIT for those emulators. I don't know, I don't know what Apple's thinking here because if you would have told me three years ago or two years ago that they were gonna be allowing a debugging app on the App Store, I would have told you that you're crazy, but it's here. This is kind of a follow-up to my last video that I made. Now, it used to be that you would sideload the StickJet app, and then the test flight version came, of course. Now we have it on the App Store, which is cool. Now, I'm basically gonna give you a brief overview of the steps that I mentioned in my last video, and they're gonna be a bit more condensed because you probably know how to do all this stuff here, but I'm adjusting it to kind of show the, the new process that you can go through. Now, before we get into this, something I didn't mention in my last video, I added it into the description, but this came to my attention from a Reddit user that I was helping. And basically the, the problem was that their Mac was not up to date and they couldn't update it because it was outdated, which then would cause an error saying the disk image couldn't be mounted. I'm fairly certain this had to do with the version of Mac OS they were running because everything else checked out just fine. So let's go ahead and get started here. Now what you're gonna wanna do first is download the stick debug from the App Store. It's pretty easy, just search it and you're good to go. Now the second step is you're gonna download Alt Store and the Side Store IPA from their website and you're gonna use Alt Store to install that IPA. I'm not gonna go into a lot of depth with that. If you aren't already running Alt Store or Side Store, what are you doing with your life? Now the third step is to download Jitterbug Pair from the Side Store website as well. And we'll be using this to generate our pairing file. This is the only time that we'll need to use a PC other than, of course, installing Alt Store. If it doesn't work the first time, then just keep trying it. Make sure you're pressing trust on your device and then you'll see the pairing file show up in the little folder that Jitterbug Pair is located in. Now, after that, the fourth step is to transfer the pairing file to your device. It doesn't matter how you do it. Just use, you can use the iTunes file transfer or you can do any other way. If you're on Mac, you should be able to just airdrop it. That should work just fine. Then you're gonna go into your stick debug app and you're going to import the pairing file. Um, and also the stick debug app should set up the VPN for you. You shouldn't have to use the Stoss VPN that I mentioned in the last video. Guys, a few minutes ago, I said that you don't need Stoss VPN for stick debug, which is true, but you do still need it for side store. So make sure you get that installed. And once that is set up, you are free to also sideload whatever emulator you want to use for this. I'll be showing off Dolphin iOS again. And that is basically it, guys. This, again, I. I'm not sure why Apple allowed this. Now, Apple, if you guys are watching this video, just throw us a bone here. I know it's you probably made a mistake at proving this. Maybe not, maybe you didn't. Maybe you thoroughly investigated this and found that it met your policies. But if not, please just throw us a bone and let us, let us use this here. Because if not, we're gonna find a way. We always find a way. That's kind of how it is, right? That's how it's always been. But. This app allows us to enable JIT in the easiest way possible. And since it's on the App Store, it doesn't seem like this method will be going anywhere. I hope not, at least. By the way, guys, let me know how you like this new style. I've been experimenting a little bit with some different microphones and, and whatnot. Um, if you like this type of content, subscribe. I'm going to be making a lot more videos. Uh, yeah. Peace.